Ladies and gentlemen, aquatic, amphibious friends, welcome to Timberborn. And welcome to Beaverville, which is what I'm calling this, because this is a city builder game where the occupants of the city are these beavers. Um, I can't really decide if they're cute or if they're the devil reincarnate, to be honest. What I do know is that they sound like minions when you click on them, so... There you go. Anyway, um, yeah, Timberborn is uh, is an early access city builder that is uh, in beta at this moment in time. So I thought, you know what, what better game to check out whilst we're all stuck at home. We can build our very own beaver city together. That sounds kind of fun, doesn't it? Uh, right. So, I mean, obviously this is a city builder game, so it's in the vein of other city building games. So, I mean, in the first instance, it would be absolutely a wise idea to see if we can try and get some uh, get some houses on the go, some uh, some homes for these beavers. Let's go into housing and let's see if we can try and zone some lodges. That's right. And I tell you what, the great thing about this game is that there is a uh, there is a 3D component. So there is the opportunity for us to build multi-story housing for these beavers. Now, if you're thinking, you know, this sounds rather complex. This sounds this sounds like something that beavers are uh, are not supposed to be able to do. They're not supposed to be able to build multi-story lodges. I would say to you, what are you talking about? The beaver is like the smartest is the smartest animal in the river, right? Anyway, let's throw it into one time speed and we can immediately get started. Now, a couple of things to note. We're not gonna be able to build the houses that we've just put down, or the lodges, as they may officially be called, because we don't have any logs, and we also do not have any ability to chop down logs. Oh wait, hold on, I'm just kidding. We're a community of beavers, and therefore uh we're able to <laughs> we're able to gnaw down all of these trees with our with our big front teeth, or fangs, as as I will refer to them as. Anyway, uh, so let's get the big beavers. These are adult beavers, uh, notably, which still sounds so disconcerting. Sounds so disconcerting when you click on a beaver and hear a minion. It, it really is terrifying. Uh, anyway, yeah, so we've got 11 beavers at this moment in time, seven adults, four children. The children don't do any tree cutting at this moment in time. To be honest, I don't know why. Maybe their teeth haven't fully developed or they haven't grown enough enamel on their front teeth to protect them whilst chopping logs. Uh, whatever the case, the adults are going to immediately get to work and uh, and start taking down some of these trees, which is going to make for a uh, for a couple of a couple of uh, a couple of materials for the house, which is grand. I tell you what, whilst we're going and dealing with that, we will try and build ourselves a log pile, which is the most rudimentary form of storage building. Now, uh, what about goals? What about food? What about science? All of that we will get to. However, I should at least first talk about average well-being. Now, there are a whole bunch of stats that determine how well your beaver colony is doing. Is it a beaver colony? I suspect it's a beaver colony. Colony of beavers. Okay, anyway. Yeah, your colony of beavers can be rated on a whole bunch of factors. Uh, hunger, thirst, sleep, social life, fun, nutrition, awe, aesthetics, spirituality, knowledge, comfort, etc. So we want to basically build a nice, friendly beaver community in order to make sure that everyone is happy and we're able to increase average well-being. Uh, we do have a couple of goals. Uh, those goals are notably tied to well-being. So in order to unlock the different different types of beaver, we can unlock the eager beaver and the fancy beaver. But what we need to do is we need to increase well-being uh, of this base beaver. We're playing as the, the base balanced beaver, I believe. Uh, so we need to reach eight average well-being in order to unlock the eager beaver, which sounds fun. So, without further ado, let's absolutely get cracking. Uh, I note that we've got 45 units of food already in the stockpile. Uh, or at least we've got them somewhere. I don't know where the beavers are hoarding these berries, but hey-ho. Oh, it looks like it's actually in this labor house right here. Okay, so that's exactly where they're hoarding. I was about to I was about to make a joke about how beavers store things in their cheeks, but I'm pretty sure that's hamsters. So, therefore, I'm glad that I was able to find the missing berries before I made an idiot of myself. Anyway, uh, the labor house is uh, is kind of like the the central hub that that controls the workers. So it employs laborers who cut trees, building uh, build buildings, transport goods, and we can extend uh, its range by building plants. All of which we will indeed do. But it's just something to consider that at this moment in time, 
we've got this many beavers. Uh, we've got two beavers that weren't actually assigned. They were just jobless and doing absolutely nothing. So let's assign them to the construction as well. And so we can continue to uh, expand our housing stock which is rather, rather nice indeed. Okay, so these berries, they ain't gonna last forever. We've got to, we've got to figure out a replacement. And there are a couple of different things that we can do. First of all, if we go into the actions here, uh, cut trees and plants, we can cut down mature trees and plants, or we can cut down mature and half-grown trees and plants, or we can cut down all trees and plants. Now, if we only cut down mature stuff, when I drag my mouse over this entire this entire area, you will see that we will only target the bushes which are which are ready for harvest. So the half-grown blueberry only yields two ber uh, two blueberries, or indeed two berries, whatever. Uh, and the mature blueberry bush gives us four berries. So very very nice that we're able to do that. So we'll absolutely do that uh, right this very second, which is cool. Also, it looks like a child was just. I was waiting to say a child was born, but I don't think... I don't think a child was born. I think I'm just misremembering numbers. Okay, cool. So, that's all on the go. That's great. Getting housing sorted is, is fantastic. We've already started chowing down on this reserve of berries, so it's probably a good idea that we start to see if we can uh, cut down some berries over here. That's great. The houses are all going to get finished up before we get the wood stockpile done. That's fine with me. I'm not particularly in any rush. There's a tree that is unreachable because it is on another level. We'll talk a little bit about that in a bit, but suffice to say that there is the opportunity for us to level up, as it were, quite literally and figuratively, actually, uh, and we will be doing that, I hope. Okay, we've got our log pile erected, which is great because we've got a couple of logs. Uh, we've got a couple of logs stored in it. We can store up to 180, which is an awful lot. Uh, we've also started making some headway on the berries, which is good, and this area is mostly excavated. Cool. So the trees are indeed going to come back. It's just going to take a little while for them to, to regrow, but that will indeed happen, and we'll be able to chow down once again on those trees. Anyway, uh, as you can see, it is nighttime. I can increase the number of hours that my beavers can work. However, I don't think that I want to do that because I want to make sure that all of the beavers are just chilling out and they've got, you know, enough enough sleep. Excellent. And look, immediately immediately I am rewarded by not by not putting the beavers uh, to work at uh, at night. So, we are we are up to four average well-being, mostly because they're all comfortable as anything, which is grand because they've all got a lovely little lodge. Well, not each, but you know, there's a lot of lodges to go around. Cool. So, what are we looking out for? Well, we're looking out for the children growing to adults. That would be pretty darn good. Uh, I'm going to level up the, or increase the number of workers in the labor house, so that as soon as a child grows up, which literally just happened, wow, that sounds rehearsed, but it honestly wasn't, uh, we can put them to work immediately at the uh, at the labor house. Cool. Okay, so that is, uh, that is a step in the right direction. What say we see if we can try and get a little bit more of a sustainable food source. How about that? We should, uh, we should, we should give it a shot. Uh, we also need to make sure that we've got an appropriate amount of drinking water for everybody. Uh, now, we cannot get a water pump at this moment in time because we need science in order to do so. There's a whole bunch of buildings that are currently gated behind, uh, behind science, and we'll talk about them as we go. But, uh, what we can do, what we can do is we can get a watering place. A watering place, and we just stick a watering place. In fact, you know what? Stick two watering places down over here. They cost six logs a pop. They satisfy thirst, and they hold one beaver at a time. So if we get to work on that, then that will allow us to uh, satisfy thirst, which is very, very important. Similarly, uh, honestly, getting some carrot fields or a potato field. I mean, I've got to get a potato field, don't I? But I also think I'm going to get a carrot field as well. We'll get one carrot field, and we'll get one potato field. Uh, truthfully, not a huge amount of space here, but I'm I'm gonna say that we'll get the fields as quickly as we can so that we can start growing resources as quickly as we can. And whilst all of that is being built, all the stuff is being built over here, we can queue up a bunch of paths. Now, paths uh, allow people to move faster. I say people, I mean beavers. It allows beavers to move faster, and therefore, that's exactly what we want. Uh, it also allows us to extend the range of the labor house as well. So, I'm thinking that maybe I'm gonna link up the forest over here. 
So we'll link that up. That's pretty darn cool. Everyone is a little bit thirsty. Yeah, everyone is a little bit thirsty. According to this individual beaver's needs. What the heck is happening here? I hate to be... I hate to be that guy. But can beavers not just, like, stick their head in the water? Or, I don't know, maybe go for a swim? <laughs> beavers can swim, right? You know they build, like, massive dams across the rivers. <laughs> Why do they need a specific watering place? They can just... <laughs> they can go anywhere in this river. It's not like it's different water that's being... that's being put in the buckets here. Okay, you know what? I don't know. I don't know, and I don't care. As long as the beavers are... are satisfying their thirst, then that's fine with me. Right, so, the carrot field is all grown up. It's all been built. Uh, we can grow edible carrots, uh, and it must be built on the ground. And it yields 65 carrots after four days. Not to mention that it also satisfies nutrition number one. Which is different from the nutrition that we're currently satisfying, because we are currently satisfying hunger. We're satisfying hunger with berries. The carrots will satisfy hunger and also nutrition. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reduce the number of people working at the labor house by two. And I'm going to let the, uh, let the, the spare two beavers head on into the carrot fields and get that all planted up and get that all, get that all grown. Excellent. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's throw it in three times speed as I don't think that there's anything super pressing that needs to get done at this moment in time. Already, you can see that the growth progress is almost up to 5%, which is grand. Pretty darn happy about that. Oh, I tell you what, have I run out of have I run out of building materials? I have indeed run out of building materials. No issue there whatsoever. Let's just queue up some more trees to be decimated. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Good stuff. And back into three times speed. Yeah, so get back to get back to building that. That's totally fine. We need like what? 10, 10 additional logs, nine additional logs to get the potato field fully grown, uh, fully built, so that we can start growing potatoes. And that is excellent. Looks like a job for tomorrow, given that it's already sleepy times for the beavers. But you know what? That's totally fine. The life of a beaver is a relaxed one. Apart from the fact that they have to drink at flipping watering places. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, now that we've dealt with that, what are we going to deal with? I know exactly what we're going to deal with. Okay, we've got a couple of missions that we want to accomplish today. First of all, we're going to go into, uh, well, woodworking we want to get. So a carpenter, pretty darn important, allows us to make plants from logs. However, it requires power to operate. We'll get to power in just a second. Uh, power, yet yeah, we'll deal with that over the course of today as well, I suspect. Uh, we want to get an inventor's hut, because that will allow us to generate science points. However, we have to throw a worker into the inventor's hut in order to get those points. So, I tell you what, why don't we do that right now? We'll get that over here. Sure, that seems fairly reasonable, right? Uh, we'll also go into leisure, and we'll get a campfire, which will allow us to satisfy the social life uh, the social life requirement, which is pretty darn exciting, and we'll stick that right next to the labor house as well. You know what? This is uh, this is turning into a this is turning into a nice little community here. Oh, what I want to do, what I want to do is I want to reduce the number of workers in the carrot field, and then I want one of the workers in the carrot field to work in the potato field instead. Why? I don't know. It just feels like the right thing to do, even if it slows down the growth of the carrots. Having potatoes and carrots to, you know, different food sources seems fantastic. I don't think things like blight are actually in the game, but you never really want to chance it, do you? You know, multiple different food sources is is always a, is always a bonus, in my opinion. Anyway, we can have a little look at our employment stats over here. Uh, that reminds me, the inventor's hut needs to get filled with a beaver. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to reduce the number of beavers in the workhouse and uh, the labor house. And instead, I'm going to put the one singular beaver into the inventor's hut. Civical, congratulations. Congratulations, Civical. You are now, you are now the inventor. You are now the inventor of the lot. It feels a little bit unnatural to just assign an inventor. You know, usually inventors are zany people. Outcasts of society. I don't know if that's fair to say about Civical, the beaver. Yeah, well, you know what? He's got the voice of a minion, so I don't frankly care. 
Uh, right, so the Inventor's Hut is going to give me three science points each and every... I don't know if it's each and every day, but it's... I presume it's each and every day, so that's nice. The campfire is also great, because that's going to satisfy the social life uh, requirement. Uh, nutrition 1 is going to be satisfied by the... Uh, is going to be satisfied by the old... by the old carrots, which is rather good too. Uh, what else... what else do we need to get? What else do we need to get? What else do we want to get? Uh, monuments. We can't deal with monuments quite yet. Ah, yes. I said that I wanted to get myself. I said that I wanted to get myself a power setup. Now, the power setup in this is actually very, very unique. Because you build a water wheel, which produces power. And it outputs, uh, it, or outputs 290 horsepower. I don't know if horses exist in this world. I suspect that they probably do. Uh, I tell you what, before we do the power wheel, we're just going to work on harvesting a little bit more wood. I could also really do with getting uh, a couple of the children leveled up or grown up as the case may be because I would kind of like to get a few more bits of log before we start on any one given project. Anyway, how's the how's the social life in Beaverville? It looks good, apparently. Uh, there are a couple of people around the campfire. I'm assuming, look at that, the social life, the social life bar is creeping on up, which is excellent. Very, very chuffed with that. Very, very, very chuffed with that. That is pretty darn cool. Excellent. Yeah, you know what? I'll take that any day of the week. It's a full, it's a full campfire. I feel sorry for the other six beavers who are excluded from sitting around the campfire, but you know, you know what they say, it's a beaver eat beaver world out there. I do not know if that's what they say, and I really hope that that's not what they say, because that is awful. Your beavers are happier than ever. Don't I know it? Oh, also, 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 is that good news or is that good news? That is, that is too, well, it's one, one child has grown up, and then we've also, who is snoring? Somebody's snoring. Uh, and then we had another child that was born, which is excellent. Very, very happy about that. Don't mind if I, don't mind if I do. That is, who is snoring? Wow, I did not realize that beavers snore as loudly as they do. Okay, one beaver has no job. Honestly, that's totally fine because we're about to build a carpenter's uh, thingamabobber anyway. Uh, right, so, 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 so. I'm looking to see where I can get my wheel. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking over here, but to be honest, I feel like maybe it should be a little bit further afield so that I've got some space to play around with, you know? What about the wheel over here? Let's queue up the wheel over there. That sounds like a good plan. The carpenter, now where the heck is the carpentry connection gonna come from? Because we need to make sure that we've got enough room for all of the shafts. Believe it or not, that is actually a concern. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna need to make sure that we get all of this stuff uh, sorted. Now, I need to cut trees and plants. I want to cut all trees and plants, and I want to, can uh, I want to cut all trees and plants behind behind the wheel so that we can uh, so that we can explore exactly what we're gonna do I don't know if we've got enough wood yet to build the wheel but we're definitely do I really want to build it here you know what don't build it don't build it here quite yet because I'm a little bit apprehensive that we might not be able to do we might not be able to do what we're after we may need a clear run right this does require power to operate if I'm not mistaken Throw that in there. Cool. Delete buildings. Does this count as deletion? Do I need to delete this? No. Right. Chop down all trees in the area. And then return to the power menu. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I think that might just work. All right. Chop down this tree. And then we can, and then we can see what we need to do. Now, we can, you know, we can turn. We can turn at 90 degree... At 90 degree turns, shaft intersection, all of that stuff is, is entirely possible. But I figure, you know, a, sh a straight shaft is is probably what we're after on the first occasion, right? You know, let's not, let's not overcomplicate things too much. All right, now that I'm assured that I can get a straight shaft connection to the carpentry lodge. What is it? It's just a carpenter. I feel like it should be called a carpentry lodge, but whatever. All right, another, another adult has joined the crew. Brilliant stuff there. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Very, very happy with that. Yes, yeah, so let's get... 
let's get this all built. We need a whole bunch of logs in order to make it so, but uh, but that's fine. Also, uh, goodness gracious me, the beavers are snoring again, and it's loud, and it's obnoxious. Just like snoring IRL. Uh, right, so, do we want to unlock any, uh, any buildings here? I tell you what, I want to unlock more buildings, but we need a ridiculous number of science points. I think the minimum that we need is like 60. A forester to plant trees in the area surrounding the building. Yes, I'm absolutely keen on doing that. Absolutely keen on doing that. Very, very keen indeed. However, we need more science points in order to get us across the line. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take... I'm going to take all of these berries off the cutting agenda. It's not a top priority at this moment in time. I would rather get some trees done. Trees, trees getting cut down is uh, is more important. Now we also have a couple of jobless, jobless beavers. So let's throw one additional beaver into the labor house, so that we can build things just a touch faster. Nice. Okay, that's looking good. Everyone's gnawing on some trees, some good, some good logs to chow down on. I guess that's kind of fun. And exciting, I guess. Uh, so yeah, good. How much progress are we making? Okay, we're probably going to be done. Maybe not by the end of today, but definitely by lunchtime tomorrow. So that's good indeed. I tell you what, how are we doing in the carrot field? 43% growth on the carrots, 20% on the potatoes. Potatoes take slightly longer and we get slightly less of them. However, what we are about to uncover... That's right, is that we can actually refine our food into something a lot more appetizing through the medium of a grill. Requires a worker, satisfies hunger, and it satisfies nutrition too. Oh, look at that, 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 look at that. That is excellent. So, we officially have, we officially have a wonderful carpenter up and running. I don't know if he's a wonderful carpenter, but he's a carpenter. So there we go. Anyway, let's place the grill down. Also, you know what I need to do? I need to... I don't know, the grill should probably go... The grill should probably go over there. Cool. And then we'll link up a path over here as well. Excellent. And whilst we're also talking about carpentry stuff, we create planks from logs. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to build a small warehouse because I believe... I believe the log pile only stores logs, although, can we store, can we store planks in here? Yeah, we totally can. We can totally store up to any number of planks that we want to in the, uh, in the labor house. So there seems to me to be no reason to build a warehouse, an additional warehouse right now. Although, again, it's modular. We can stack it up on top of each other, and we can have multi-story warehouses, which is kind of a, a crazy thing to consider, and something that I'm very excited about. Okay. That is our 13th beaver, which means that one... Oh my... It's you that was sleeping the whole darn time, and you were the one that was snoring as well. Oh, that's ridiculous. Okay, you know what? Get ourselves a brand new a brand new lodge. That'll be a priority for tomorrow. We will absolutely do that. Uh, let's get the grill built as well. We should be built... We should be done in no time, to be honest. You're hungry for water? Or you're thirsty for water, I guess? Sure. Uh, I'm sure you'll you'll figure out you'll I'm sure you'll figure it out. Just go down to the watering hole or the watering place and deal with it over there. Okay, is that everything? I think that is pretty much every structure that we've unlocked at the moment. There are a couple of other things that we can do in uh, in labor here, so we can get the labor flag. Now the labor flag could be stuck down over here, for example, and this will allow us to. Uh, increase the range of our activities. So at the moment, the labor house extends all the way out to here. So as you can see, the grayed out actions cannot be reached because it's not within the area of effect of the labor house. However, to be honest, I don't think we need to add any range to that via, for example, a labor, uh, a labor post or labor flag even. We don't need to do that. We don't need to do that at all. A labor house, we've already got a labor house right over here. And a hauling post, uh, haulers assist workers within its range in carrying goods, greatly increasing their productivity. Even if we wanted to do this, it would take planks, and I don't think that we've got that many planks. No, we do not. Okay. 
What is going on over here? We got a we got a grill. Wow, holy cow, look at that. That is very, very cool indeed. So we can now make grilled potatoes, if indeed. If indeed we finish growing some potatoes at some point. Now, potatoes will satisfy nutrition two. As you'll know, we need to satisfy nutrition one as well. Uh, if you'll recall, because nutrition one and nutrition two both need to be satisfied in order to make the beavers happy. So we're going to try our very, very, very best to do that. Looks like it also takes logs in order to, in order to make potatoes. We get four grilled potatoes from one unit of potato that we grow in the fields, which is, well, put it this way. I'm not entirely sure how that works out, but that's good to note anyway. Okay, so all of this time, science points have been accumulating, which is very, very nice. I'm going to go into three times speed because there's nothing else that really needs to get done. I tell you what, tomorrow, once the, uh, once the sun comes up, we are going to seriously need to try and increase our food supply. I know that we've got the carrots coming online. I know that we've got the potato field coming online very, very soon indeed. However, 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 we only have 13 berries and that ain't gonna last, that ain't gonna last forever. Okay, so let's see if we can clear up this area. Again, everything regrows, so like nothing is like super, nothing is super valuable. Yeah, I really want access to this plateau up here. I really, really, really want to access to this plateau. And in fact, we should probably think about doing that. So it is, where am I looking for? Um, what am I looking for? I am looking for a flight of stairs. Excellent. In pads and structure, we need 70 points in order to unlock wooden stairs. Uh, a footbridge will unlock for 120 science points and scaffolding will unlock for 90. So if we get a flight of stairs, I know, I know I need science points for it. If I get a flight of stairs, then presumably I'd be able to get up here. Although it looks like this is already in existence as a flight of stairs. So I probably can get up to here anyway. Presumably, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely can. I definitely can get up here. So I don't even need stairs to get up there. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, cool. Well, the good news is, is that we've got plenty of plenty of berries, which is great. It probably is worth me picking up an additional warehouse anyway, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, I'll get an additional warehouse right over there. Super easy to build, only costs 15 logs, and it allows us to, uh, it allows us to hold more berries, which is, which is grand. Yeah, because I thought, I thought that we would be at full capacity here, especially after a busy day harvesting berries in Beaverville. Such is, such is the problem. Such is the problem in Beaverville at this moment in time. Okay, 67% on the carrots, 35% on the potatoes. Man, we really need to get more people on the fields. Let's get an additional beaver in the potato fields. Also, how many, how many houses do I have? I've got 15, I've got 15, in fact, I've got an, I've got a fine number of houses. I've got five houses. Each holds three people. Three times five, 15. We've got 12 adults, three children. Grand. Okay. Zero jobless people because I assigned an additional person to the potato field, which is which is absolutely A-OK. -okay. Anything else need to get done as a matter... As a matter of urgency? I don't think so. Although what I would like to do, I would quite like... I would quite like to get another inventor's inventor's hut. That does seem like a priority, given that science is so slow to accumulate. And I could wait longer for it. However, I think it's probably worth me throwing another person into the inventor's hut. Maybe even the guy that's making planks. And by guy making planks, I mean the carpenter. Hmm, the yeah, 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 that's exactly right. Okay, yeah, turn that off. And instead, yep, you're gonna work. You're gonna work at the uh, the carpenter's place instead. The water wheel can just continue to continue to do what it does. That's absolutely fine. Do we have? We've got somebody working in the grill. However, there are no materials, i.e., there are no potatoes yet. So I guess there's not much point in having that person working in the grill. Again, I say person. I mean beaver. I really need to stop using those words interchangeably. What about a temple? Oh boy. There are no other science buildings, so there's not like we can it's not like we can accelerate the rate of 
the rate of uh, the rate of growth. I tell you what, a forester. Why don't we get a forester? Let's do that. Let's get a forester. Uh, it's going to require a worker, but I think that that should be totally fine. Also, can I get a bridge? I really would love to get a bridge. A footbridge seems like something that I would be very, very interested in, actually. Yeah, so that we can bridge across to this other side over here and see if we can try and expand. Hmm. Just thinking about it, is there a way for us to naturally get up to this plateau over here? Because this is, uh, you know, this is... This is all space that we can capitalize on. What the heck is this? This is very unorthodox land formation. Looks very, very funky. Oh well, no matter. Either way, keep working on the science, please, folks. That's the that's the important thing to me at this moment in time. If we have any more births, then we will have to take we'll have to take some difficult decisions about where our next row of houses is going to go. I would ideally love to get actually. I would love to get a house stacked on top of another house. It just seems satisfying to me. Entrance is not accessible. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But in order to get, in order to get the, in order to get this up and running, we will need to build, we will need to build a, uh, a footbridge. But I tell you what, with two science machines, we're actually making pretty darn good progress. You know what? Why stop at two? Why the heck stop at two? Let's go, let's go for a third science machine. There we go. Let's remove that tiny little bit of tree there. And we will go for a third science machine. And you know what? Just in time, one of our um, one of our children became adults, which is grand because they can go to work as uh, as an inventor, which is really really cool. Okay, no entrance, no entrance to the lodges at this moment in time, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, we'll need to we'll need to rectify that at some point soon. Productivity, yeah. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Science collection is going very, very well indeed. And look at this. We're just getting so many science points. I tell you what, why don't I just why don't I just get one more? In fact, why stop at one? Why not just get two more? Two more inventor's huts. We got plenty of logs, right? Plenty of logs. And the only thing that's really holding us back at this moment in time is uh is science. We get some paths over there as well. That's very, very nice. Oh, I'm a little bit short on berries. A little bit short on berries. How are we? How are we doing on the food front? We're doing very, very well on the food front. And in fact, we're about to get 65 flipping carrots tomorrow. We're at 100% growth on the carrot front, which is very, very positive. So that's going to fix my food situation. I probably will set up a couple of beavers. That's right. Didn't say people there. Going to set up a couple of beavers to go and do some berry collection. There we go. Looking good. And there's berries over here too. It might be time for us to expand our horizons a little bit. What I can do is I can build a path out to this elevated this elevated set of rocks. A natural walkable ramp. Yeah, so this slope over here. Right, so if we build a path out here, then that will allow my workers to travel further and faster, which is great because that will expand the area of effect of the labor house, which is pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. And that will just increase our food supplies that little bit more. Okay, we've got 40 carrots, as you can see in our in our food stats, which is pretty darn great. But even though we've got 40 carrots... Oh, look, you can actually see the area of effect expanding, can't you? That's pretty darn cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. Uh, even though we've got all of these, all of these carrots, it's still kind of useless as carrots only satisfy nutrition one, and we need to satisfy more than one level of nutrition in order to be, in order to be a nice happy beaver colony. But we shall, we shall persevere. We shall manage. Okay, 120 science points, in order to, in order to unlock the foot bridge, which is kind of what I'm after. So I need stairs as well. I didn't uh, I didn't do stairs. I haven't done stairs yet. That's a crying shame. Right, do that. And then you know what we will have we will have a set of stairs. I mean, technically, I could just put a I could just put a footbridge all the way out to this to this area over here because this is already elevated, right? Might might be a little bit of a crazy move, but you know, it also might not be. 
Right, so that's good. I'm gonna increase. I'm gonna increase the. Uh, I'm gonna increase the number of hours that beavers work per day. We're gonna bump it on up to 24 hours a day. That's right, 24 hour a day beaver, beaver activity. Keep on harvesting. Keep on doing what you guys are doing. Now that is gonna absolutely tank the the sleep value. But to be honest, I don't really care, do I? I don't think I do. Uh, also. The person that works at the grill, I'm going to stop you working there. And instead, you're going to work at the Carpenter's Lodge for a little while. We're going to wait until we've got an additional... We're going to wait until we've got an additional worker. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to take you out of the labor house and instead throw you into the grill instead. That seems, that seems fine. Uh, because the potatoes are being harvested as we speak. So it's pretty important that we get them cooked up as quickly as we possibly can. I don't believe that I can tell my beavers not to eat raw potatoes. Although, I don't even know if you can eat raw potatoes. I mean, well, you can eat raw potatoes. It's just whether you should. As a human, whether you should. I don't know if beavers are able to eat raw potatoes. It's a, it's a mystery. It's probably not a mystery, but I, I just don't know. Okay, we need 70, 70 science points in order to unlock stairs. So let's do that. Let's get that done. There's no growth in my colony size, which is a little bit disappointing, or at least there hasn't been that much growth in a while. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why they've all stopped having kids, but it's, it's a bit of a shame. We're full up at the labor house, uh, full up of food, as it seems. But you know what? We're, we're on a good... Oh, you're sleeping. You're sleeping. You're sleeping because... Oh yeah, because I told you to work 24 hours a day. You know what? Maybe that's a little bit draconian. Let's let's ramp that down to only 16 hours of work per day. That seems fair, right? That seems totally, totally fair. In the interim, whilst you whilst you are sleeping, beavers, we can unlock the wooden stairs purely because I'm because I'm a fan. I'm a fan of elevated. I'm a fan of elevated elevated platforms. Games that allow you to build like up a level, I find is. I love them. I love them. I love it when games allow you to do that. It really, really is cool. Okay, it also seems like we have accrued a couple of additional planks, which is very, very good. I dare say that we may need to get additional uh, additional carpenters at some point. Yeah, I suspect that that's the case. Ooh, look at that. Average well-being is now very, very high. We're up to six. Brilliant. Okay, fun. How do we get fun? How do we... How do we... How do we have fun? Carousel? Does that sound does that sound fun? Gear workshop? We could get a gear workshop. I mean, a large warehouse. I don't care about a large warehouse. Don't care about a large warehouse. Don't care about a large water tank or whatever. It's not a problem at all. Uh can't upgrade our housing. Don't care about a water pump. A wheat field, a grist mill, and a bakery. I mean, this all sounds very important. And in fact, it costs like no science at all. But in saying that. In saying that, we need we need a lot of workers in order to make this work, and we don't have that many workers at this moment in time. So let's see if we can do something else. High shaft, raised shaft, don't care about shafts. No siree. Wow, loads and loads of science points are needed in order to in order to level up. And monuments as well. Monuments are going to cost me thousands and thousands and thousands of points. I mean, I suppose we are only 13 days in. We're in a we're in a very, very good position right now. So very, very happy with that. Uh, do we need to do we need to do anything? I don't think so. I don't think anything needs to get done per se. Do I need more houses? I feel like I should get more houses, right? Okay, get more houses, paths, and structures. Let's do it. Let's freaking go. Okay, the labor house has still got more trees to chop down, which is fine. In fact, if I draw a new tree collection zone, we can see exactly where we're able to we're able to take the trees down. It might be worth just sort of leveling up to get to the next level of plateau, just as something to do, I guess. Seems like a, a good idea. If I do indeed say so myself. Look at all these grilled potatoes. Oh, loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. That's excellent. Okay, off the back of the success of the grilled potatoes, I feel like we should maybe get a forester. We do need to get a forester, actually. Uh, but you know what? Let's get another carpenter in the first instance. Mostly because I'm curious to see exactly how the power 
transmission works. So how much... How much is this carpenter consuming? It's consuming 50. 50 HP. 50 horsepowers. Right. Shaft turn. L-shaped T-section. I need an L-shaped T-section. Let me get... That in there. That in there. And then what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to disassemble the straight shaft over there. And then I'm going to get an L-shaped T-section right in there. It's going to shut down everything for a little while. But no matter. It will it will fix itself in just a second. Brilliant. We don't have a beaver to work in the carpenter quite yet. But we will soon. And when we do, we're going to double the amount of uh, planks that we are producing. Because we do need a couple... Well, we need one additional plank for the footbridge. Which seems fine to me. Okay, can I build another... Can I build another layer of houses? Oh, I should point something out. Uh, beavers are only able to work in the area that, uh, that their houses that their houses operate in. So dwellers only take on jobs within the, the range of their home. So that is something to consider. Okay, so I build... I've built a ridiculous... A ridiculous structure here. Um... How, how do I how do I level this up? This is a this is a very important question that I had not considered previously. Actually, is it even possible for me to is it even possible for me to get up to another height? Mm, methinks maybe it's not. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Can we get a flight of stairs up to the next level? Mm, have I built all of these? Have I built all these houses for nothing? Tell you what, let's unlock scaffolding. Can I build can I build stuff on top of the scaffolding? Can build things on the scaffolding? Yes, that's what I'm interested in. That is very much what I'm interested in. Uh yeah. Okay. So once the scaffolding is done, let's see what we can do. We need four planks. Have we got enough planks? We've got plenty of planks. Okay. I may need to take down. I may need to take down. Some of the homes that I built up here. That's it's a little bit less than ideal. Also, speaking of stuff that I should be doing, I've got loads and loads of science points. Let's unlock something, even if it is nothing. Uh, i tell you what we'll unlock. We'll unlock the wheat field, we'll unlock the grist mill, and then we will unlock the bakery as soon as we've got the points, which we now do. So let's throw all of that down. Uh, we need a little bit more space for the wheat fields. Yeah, fields actually take up a ridiculous ridiculous amount of space. Who who knew? Uh, actually, who who knew? I sure as heck did not. Okay, you know what? We'll throw it down over there. Excellent. Do we want to get a second wheat field? Sure, throw that down over there. Uh, disassemble that wheat field and instead put it in that orientation. Throw down a dirt path over here. Increases the range of everything. Right, so stairs. Okay, so I can totally do that. I can totally put I can totally put scaffolding. I can totally put scaffolding up here. However, however, the bad news is, the bad news is is that I can build I can build foot bridges on top of scaffolding, but I presumably people cannot walk on top of scaffolding. If they were able to walk on top of scaffolding, that would be excellent. Should we give it a test? Should we give it I feel like we should give it a test, right? Right, destroy this footbridge here. Entrance blocked. Ah, yeah, so it's gonna block the entrance underneath. It's gonna block the entrance underneath the, uh... The house. So it seems like people or people slash beavers can work on... Or can walk on scaffolding. But if they are to do that, then we would block the entrance underneath. So that, to me, says that we should maybe think about getting some sort of a... An offset system where we offset the houses from one another and therefore we're gonna be able to you know ramp up the height of our of our system I tell you what I'm I'm really I really like the I really like the idea of like three-story houses here like this is this is quite incredible okay so let me let me see if I was to put I was to put this here Give that a shot in there. Okay, cool. Then we have to ditch this footbridge. Yes. Ditch these stairs. Yes. 
ditch that. Yes. Cool. I'm work. L let me work on this for a second, folks. Okay. Cool. This is this is the most unnecessary combination of uh, events ever, but it's fun, right? I'm gonna build a three-story beaver house. <laughs> Even saying it seems ridiculously weird. Okay, have we got the wheat fields up and running? No, we have not. Are we out of logs? We're not even out of logs yet. Uh, we do need a few additional workers, but that's fine. Also, we've got loads of berries, and we don't have anything else. Also, everyone has to sleep on the floor at this moment in time, because apparently, apparently there's no, uh, there's no way up to... Apparently, there's no way up to the second floor homes. Uh, that really sucks, doesn't it? Also, now we are officially out of wood. Which is... Which is not good. Not good at all. How many people do we have in the labor house? Sorry, beavers. How many beavers do we have in the labor house? Not enough, I think, as the case may be. Uh, we don't have anybody that's jobless. We got a couple of people in the inventor's huts. Should I turn off the inventor's huts? I don't really want to turn off the inventor's huts. The inventor's huts are pretty important, as it turns out. Okay. Back in here, let's get this leveled up. So, what you can probably see is that I want to get all of the level 2 houses sorted first, and then later we can sort out the level 3 houses, but we should be able to do that with the help of some scaffolding. I believe it may be a slightly inefficient process, but we will we will get there. In fact, will we be able to get there? I don't even know. I, hmm. Hold up. Let me see if I can do this. So, I mean, I want to put... Yeah, in fact, no. All I need to do is just put a flight of stairs on top of the scaffolding, and then we'll be able to get up there. So we're not going to be able to make this a four-story beaver complex, but, you know, three stories... Three stories not bad for a bunch of beavers, right? Also, I'm now realizing that the carpenters are turning logs into planks slightly too fast for my taste, because I do need a couple of additional planks just in order to build all of these structures that I said that I was going to build. Also, that scaffolding is is expensive. Two logs and two planks. That's a lot of that's a lot of goods. That's a lot of goods for uh, for a bit of scaffolding, to be honest. Uh, okay, unreachable construction site. Yes, I know that's fine. Construction lacks materials. Yes. Uh, building lax materials, it's fine. And then a whole bunch of unreachable trees. Nothing really important at the moment. Uh, building lax workers. This is important, actually. The fact that the that neither of the wheat fields have workers is, is actually kind of important. Let me take one person out of the inventor's hut. And instead put one person into each of the wheat fields. Person, beavers, gosh darn it. I feel like that's a better use of our resources. Yeah, I mean, we've got a, a decent number. Got a decent number of children. Hopefully, they're going to level up to become adults in just a second. Or indeed, level down, as the case may be. When you become an adult. Uh, either way, I need more I need more workers. I need more beavers. I need more worker beavers. Right, we've briefly transitioned down the average well-being scale down to about five, which is oh, lame. Lame, I would say. But, you know, we'll get there. I have absolute confidence that we will do what we need to do. Right, are we after planks? We're now solely after planks. Okay, I'm going to turn that back on then. Right, turn that back on. Turn off another inventor's hut. And instead get the carpenter. Get the carpenter into... Or get somebody into the carpenter's workshop. ASAP. As soon as the... As soon as the adults level up, or the children level up to adults, which is exactly what happened right there, we will get ourselves... Uh, what do I want to do? I actually think maybe we increase the number of people that work in the wheat field. That seems good, right? Yeah. I think that's what we're after. So we'll get a third person in the wheat field, if indeed that is possible. Cool. Cool. So we've got one person in that one, two, two people in that one. Fine. All right. And with all of these planks, we should be able to return 
we should be able to return people to their homes very, very quickly indeed. I know, I'm sorry, everyone's comfort meter is a little bit lower than it usually is. Everyone can still sleep on the ground, and apparently there's no negative penalty for sleeping on the ground, which is great. I will just say, that is great. Very happy with that, because a lot of beavers have to sleep on the ground. The fact that I'm building all these fancy lodges for beavers is a little bit ridiculous in the first place. But that's fine. It's not up to me to question the game mechanics. No siree. I just do what I'm told. I just build what I, I just build what I need to build. Anyway, now that the scaffolding is built, uh, you can see exactly what we are after. We are after a wonderful, a wonderful tiered housing estate here. It's kind of wonderful, actually. I'm, I'm chuffed with this. This is looking good. This is looking, this is looking real good. Also, ah, two, two, two people are jobless. What the heck? Okay, throw one additional person into the field there. Uh, and then throw one of the inventor's huts back on as well. That seems that seems entirely reasonable. Also, whilst we're at it, I'm going to queue up a whole bunch of houses here. Construction's too far from laborers? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it at all. We're going to sort it right out. Okay, why are we full? We're full of berries. We're full of berries and we've got no ability to store planks which is somewhat of a problem because making planks are our primary concern right now. Hmm. It almost might be worth me getting a hauling post. I think getting a hauling post would be uh, would be pretty darn good. 20, 20 logs, 10 planks. It's definitely something to get after we get the, uh, the second tier of houses up and running again. Oh no, 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 no. A beaver died. A beaver died. Jamoke died of old age. Oh, that's a crying shame. Um, it's only been 22 days. It's only been a month. It's only been a month. Okay, everyone can now get into their homes, which is great. Uh, we can actually bring all of the tier 2 houses online right now, which is kind of great as well. Still no access to them, and there won't be for a little while, but that's a really, really good step in the right direction, so I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty darn chuffed with that, actually. Okay, where did the... Where did the worker end up coming from? Oh, yes, the worker the worker that died actually was working on the wheat field, which... I think I'm okay to lose a worker on the wheat field. It's not, not the end of the world. Not at all. Yeah, okay. All right, now we need to get the grist mill and also the bakery. Now, it seems like we require power. Seems like we need... Uh, we need a connected shaft for the grist mill, which is, which is fine. Get that over there. Cool. We'll get that set up like so. It's going to require 14 planks, a couple of logs, and 10 gears as well, actually. Now, we know how to make gears. Gears are made in the gear workshop. Let's unlock that for 100 points. Let's not build the grist mill. Let's build the gear, the gear, the the gear workshop instead. So what does that take? It crafts one gear from one plank, and it requires 15 logs and 25 planks. Okay, that's cool. And it will share power with uh, adjacent, with its adjacent building, if indeed that's required. Okay, so did I not need to do this whole shaft thing? I guess I didn't need to do this whole shaft thing. All right, well, that's good to know. That's, that's excellent, actually. Okay, make sure that everything is chopped down over here. And then... We'll see if we can get... We'll see if we can get... What am I looking for? Looking for the gear workshop. Brilliant! Okay, again, that's going to be slightly lower down on the production queue, but we'll get there eventually. We need a footbridge in there. I wish that was a little bit higher on the production line, but that's fine. I don't think you can... I don't think that you can increase priority on any given building. We can pause construction on the gear workshop, but we can't can't do anything about it. Look at this. We've got a brand new a brand new three height lodge. How exciting is that? That's brilliant. Very, very chuffed with that. Uh, as I said already, there is no real way as far as I can see to increase the height to four layers. I think we're gonna have to just we're just gonna have to let it be at three. Which kind of sucks, but you know what? Maybe, maybe one of these days we'll be able to find an even more insane way to increase the height of the, uh, of the houses. I mean... 
It must be possible. It must be possible. It's just I, I can't see a way. Not easily, anyway. Not unless we went for a complete redesign. Uh, okay, do we need to chop down some more trees? I think we do. Chop down some more trees. Excellent. To be honest, we need a forester as well, don't we? We really do. We really, really need a forester. Or, alternatively, instead of a forester, why don't we see if we can increase the range of our labor house by using a labor flag? Yeah, that's right. Let's let's do it. Let's do... Let's do this over here. Sure, do that over there. So this is gonna cost this is gonna cost a little bit of nothing, which is great. Worker penalty receives to working speed minus 50%. I mean that's fine. So we're gonna we're gonna basically take a speed penalty in comparison in exchange for a range increase. That's that's basically it, right? Like that's that's basically what we're taking here. And we need to make sure that a couple a couple of workers are always assigned to this labor flag. Okay, so one worker assigned to the labor flag. That sounds totally fine to me. It's gonna allow us to just have that little bit of extra range that we're after. Okay, an, uh, a child became an adult, which is excellent. Pretty darn happy about that. Very, very happy about that indeed. Okay, we've got no available jobs though, so it looks like everyone is doing what they're supposed to be doing. The gear workshop is somehow having planks allocated to it, even though I built the scaffolding before. Not entirely sure why that is happening, but that's fine, I guess. I will say, it's a little bit irritating how slow the carpenters are at carpenting logs. Yeah, that does seem like a bit of a problem. Uh, all right, let's see what we can get. We can get a temple for 300 science points. Must be built on the ground. Okay, where else would things be built. I guess on, like, an elevated stance, uh, an elevated place. Uh, I guess we can unlock a, a temple. It's going to satisfy the spirituality requirement. It allows us to get 15 visitors. Kind of nice, right? Uh, maybe add a town over here somewhere? We'll need to chop down the trees. Chop down that tree. Excellent. See if we can chop down these trees as well whilst we're at it. Uh, always after... Always after some more wood. It's the, the beaver way. Right. Plonk that down over there. So that's going to take a while to build. But, you know, we could at least get started with the logs. As I don't think any of the... The logs are in jeopardy at the moment. Uh, cool. So that is... The scaffolding built on the latter two locations, which means that all we need is additional stairs over here, which is fine. I mean, we've got 28. We've got 28 houses for beavers. That's quite a lot. Also, I uh, just realized we have a whole bunch of grown-up children, which is excellent. Our wheat field is about to is about to be ready for harvest, actually, which is very, very exciting indeed. It's making me think, maybe I just want to reprioritize. Maybe I want to see if we can try and get some additional some additional carpenters, because honestly, the vast majority of the vast majority of my problems are coming from not having enough carpenters at this very moment in time. Yeah. Okay, assign the two people or the two the two beavers that we had spare to the labor house. That's fine. Why can I not assign another worker to the I cannot assign another worker to the, uh, to the labor flag. Hmm. Ah, weird. Okay. Well, no matter. Either way, what can we do? Oh, I tell you what we do need to do. I tell you what we do need to do, and I still haven't done. Uh, we need to build a forester. We need to build a forester. Let's build a forester over here. Let's get that done as a matter of very high priority. Because we are in desperate need of some wood. Yeah. I suspect... Okay, here's here's my here's my suspicion. My suspicion is, is that we can't employ anyone else at the labor flag. 
because nobody else's house is within range of the labor flag. There's only one house that is within range of the labor flag. So what I need to do is I need to create a path and that should bring, yeah, a whole bunch of houses within the range of the labor flag, which is actually pretty excellent. Right, reduce that down. That goes up to two, excellent. Reduce that back up to six and that still stays at two because now we are drawing from the houses that can actually access the labor flag. Very, very cool indeed. Okay, that is a real step in the right direction there for sure. Okay, the temple is going to be paused because that's not a it's not a high priority item. Also, we're we're straight up out of food. Um, yeah, we got a lot of hungry beavers here. We got a lot of hungry beavers here. This this is less than ideal. Okay, go to sleep. But tomorrow, tomorrow, we're gonna be finished. We're gonna be finished with carrots. I maybe shouldn't have prioritized wheat fields when there was more pressing matters at hand. Okay, well, that's that's fine. Okay, one building lacks power. That's the carpenter. We need to wait for the gear workshop to be finished in order to power it, supposedly, if we get adjacent buildings. Okay, the carrots are done. Everyone is going to swarm the swarm the labor house so that we can get carrots, or so they can eat carrots as quickly as possible. Yeah, my bad. That is, that is 100% my bad. Let's get some... Let's get some more food. We need to get some more berry bushes. Very important that we get that done. That and that. Cool. Okay, and now we're straight up out of food again. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I tell you what though, we're in a really, really good place in terms of science, which is very, very nice. A printing press? Print books using paper? I mean, very nice. I like the idea of doing that. A paper mill? Uh, two paper from a log? I mean, we can definitely, we can definitely do that. Storage, a large warehouse, water tank. I'm not bothered about a water tank, to be honest. I'll get a paper mill. Sure, that seems entirely reasonable. Right. We're working on the gear workshop. The gear workshop needs to be done ASAP, please. It, it needs to be done, needs to be done real quick. Also, is the forester built? The forester still isn't built. Oh, that's a... Big old pain in the backside. Okay, wooden stairs, pause. Wooden stairs, pause. Wooden footbridge, pause. Gear workshop, pause. Let's turn all of our attention to this forester because trees grow, but they they grow slowly. And you're you're hungry. You're hungry. That's that's a shame. Why are you is starving and will die in a few days? Why are you not getting to work on the uh, on the chopping activity? that I ask you to do. Okay, just chop down these trees. I know it sucks to chop down trees that haven't fully grown yet, but it needs to be done. It needs to, needs to, needs to be done. Potatoes are gonna be... are gonna be ready to eat tomorrow, which is good. So that's gonna sort of save us a little bit. It means that we don't need to worry about food as much. But it's still a concern that we're not in a great food position. Everyone is starving. Absolutely everyone is starving. What a remarkable situation we have here. Truly a remarkable situation. Okay. I need to continue to be very, 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 very brutal with all of the trees that are coming down. Okay. Get them all down. 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 Get this stuff all out. Get this stuff, stuff all out. Excellent. Excellent. Cool. Okay. So, that's going to give us a whole bunch of additional logs. That's great. The potatoes are done. The potatoes are going to be turned into grilled potatoes, which is excellent because grilled potatoes multiply, apparently. One potato becomes four grilled potatoes. We are done with the wheat field. We're about to harvest that, which is excellent. We still need the gear workshop to be done, and we still need it to be done as quickly as we possibly can. Because if we don't have the gear workshop, then we're not going to be able to make the, the grist mill or whatever the heck, whatever the heck it's called. Yeah, the grist mill. Grinds wheat into flour. Requires a connected shaft. So we need to get that done. Got 12 potatoes. A couple of people are still hungry. That's fine. We're, we're working on it. Right. One plank. 
One plank is in storage, and that can go to the forester. Excellent. And then we need one plank after that to get us across the line. So let's do what needs to be done, please, beavers. One singular plank. Let's do it. And then we can start growing some more wood. And after that, we turn our attention... We turn our attention solely to the gear workshop. Excellent. Okay, pause just for a second. I'm going to take one person off the labor house and hope that they go work in the forester. If they don't go work in the forester, then we might have a problem. Inventors, huts, I'm going to turn off because we don't actually need that many. That makes three people unemployed, which is, which is okay. Why are you just chilling out? Like, you should not be chilling out. Like, you shouldn't be doing nothing, right? Like, we can... We can... We can excavate these trees. We can we can destroy the trees. Uh, okay, plants. Plant side. Uh, pine seedlings. Uh, auto cut. Mature trees. That's cool. We probably should have got this a little bit earlier in hindsight. But that's fine. Okay, you know what I can do? What I can do is I can increase... I can increase the paths here. Or in fact, dare I say, maybe I just want to bridge across the river here. If I bridge across the river... Let me bridge across the river here. If I bridge across the river, it's only going to cost me two planks a pop. So, like, what? Ten planks in total, if that. Eight planks, even. But we still need a little bit more wood. I think tr trees do grow quite fast, but unfortunately it's just not fast enough for my needs. Hmm. What else can I do? I can build a path out here. Build a path out there, see if that makes any difference. Build a path out here. See if that makes any difference. Build a path out here. See if that makes any difference. Build paths everywhere. Because if we build paths, then that will allow us, hopefully, to reach some of the harder... the harder to reach trees that have been queued up for uh, for demolition. And boy, oh boy, we need them. We need logs. We need logs, we need them desperately. Right. Let's get as many people working at the labor house as we possibly can. That's cool. There we go. Everyone chop down... Everyone chop down logs. Everyone chop down logs because we need planks. And the only way that we get planks is by getting more logs to get to the carpenters. That's exactly it. Okay, you know what also I'm going to do? I should have done a while ago. I'm going to queue up a path to go in front of all of the fancy power buildings that we've got. So we will get that done immediately. We are still accumulating science because we've got one investor's hut that is still working. Which is, which is fine. To be honest, I think we've got most of the science buildings that we need... At this moment in time, we could build a shrub to satisfy aesthetics. That would be kind of good. That would be kind of kind of cool to do. Also, I should have noted it a long time ago, but um, at each level, you know, as you as you get more beavers, you need to satisfy more and more of them. You need to satisfy more and more beavers with uh, with more and more complex requirements. So, instead of satisfying twelve beavers on nutrition one as we were originally, we now need to satisfy twenty nine beavers on nutrition one, which is which is a big difference. You know, it's a big, 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 big difference. Okay, the gear workshop is almost done. That's pretty darn good. We just need a few additional... A few additional... A few additional planks. And as soon as the planks are done... As soon as the planks are done... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's going to be great. Because that's going to turn our gear workshop on. Which is going to make all of the other carpenters work. Which is excellent in its own way. Let me reduce the number of people working at the labor house. People are still people are still hungry. I get it. It's a concern. It's a concern to me too. Okay. I'm going to increase your working hours. Hate to break it to you, but you need to get to work. You need to get to work right now if you want to if you want to eat. Uh let me also see if I can maybe just chop down chop down some berry bushes. I know we're a little bit low on the old the old berry bushes, but that's fine. Uh, are there any berry bushes over here on this side? No, no berry bushes over on this side of the river. Right. Get that built. Excellent. That footbridge is built. 
Turn that footbridge on as well. That's cool. I mean, it looks like it looks like the uh, the pine seedlings are growing at a pretty fast rate. We've got 63 logs in the storage area now, which is pretty darn great. How did this how did this blueberry bush escape my interest? I don't know. I also don't know how we're going to survive. Yeah, look, people are dying of thirst. Okay, what is that? Died of hunger, died of hunger, died of hunger. So three deaths because of hunger, one of thirst. That's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, well, we've got the grist mill. We need 10 gears. We only have one gear at this moment in time, but that's fine. Uh, let's throw down the bakery as well. Let's get both of those both of those buildings down as quickly as we possibly can. Man, we need a lot of resources in order to build these buildings, and I'm not entirely convinced that we're going to be able to get them. I'm not entirely sure that we're going to be able to get them. That is, a, that is a big old concern to me. Big old concern to me. And I did say work 24 hours a day, beavers, and yet here you are not working 24 hours a day. A crying shame. Uh, okay, the temple, the temple's a no-go, apparently. And uh, in a weird twist of fate, it seems like I'm only able to satisfy four of the requirements. I could satisfy more of the requirements if I let my beavers sleep, but uh, but no. I mean, if they don't if they don't work hard right now, they're gonna die. It's literally that simple. It's it's literally that simple. But I tell you what, we're actually closer than I anticipated to building the grist mill. Because as I say, once this is done, once this has been taken care of, okay, another couple couple of deaths from uh, from hunger. That's two, three deaths, three deaths from uh, from hunger over the course of today. Uh, I would expect those casualties to continue mounting. Uh, we have 130 wheat. We're growing this almost useless crop at this moment in time. Uh, in fact, no, sorry, I take it back. It's not uh, It's not almost useless. It, it is entirely useless, actually. Uh, let me see if we can get a labor flag out over here. Reduce that down. Got a couple of jobless beavers now. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can try and get some berries from that, uh, from that patch over there. Uh, maybe I don't sustain any further casualties. Maybe I do not sustain any further casualties. Or maybe I sustain further casualties. That's two additional casualties right there. Another third one right there. We've actually got negative jobless people. Uh, which... Which is impossible. We've got negative unemployed people. I, I, I wouldn't even fathom what that actually means uh can we equip can we equip some people to can we equip some people to the uh to the labor flag i don't think we can not at this moment in time the grist mill is ever so close to being done by the way ever so close to being done however we're just continuing to lose we're continuing to lose beavers left right and center oh my goodness it's a it's a terrible tragedy i tell you what before this tragedy gets any more terrible folks we're gonna finish up this uh, this little video right here, right now. This is a really, really interesting game. I like it. It's a unique theme. It's It's got three dimensions. I love three dimensions. You know, the fact that you're able to stack buildings on top of each other. Very, very cool indeed. This is Timberborn. Uh, it's in beta right now. You can, uh, you can check it out. Have a look at it on Steam. Link down in the description. My name, of course, has been Orbital Potato. Thanks, as ever, to all of the fantastic, fantastic, fantastic friendly beavers over on the Orbital Potato Patreon page. Patreon.com forward slash open potato. Also, thanks to Banana Nanana and C Senpai for being the two twenty-five dollar plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, Beavers. I'll see you next time. Bye.